7 News first reported earlier this year, a controversial plan to rezone Montgomery County is now before the county council. It would virtually eliminate single family home zoning. Yeah, not everyone loves the idea of starting uh, tonight that they're getting a chance to be heard. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell joining us now live from Silver Spring ahead of a listening session on this plan. Brad. Yeah, Scott, look, the listening session is going to be at the Recreation and Aquatic Center here in Silver Spring from 7 to 9 this evening. You know, people hear zoning and maybe their eyes glaze over, but this is a really big deal. It is talking about eliminating single-family home zoning in much of Montgomery County retroactively, meaning that a house could be torn down and four townhouses put up in its place. Under the proposal, almost every single-family home in Montgomery County could be torn down and replaced with something like these renderings, a duplex, a triplex, four townhomes, or in some cases, a small apartment building. When approved by the county planning board in June, the board chair called it a way to boost the stock of attainable homes, what is often called the missing middle of housing. This simply allows for property owners to have the option to build something else and give more people the chance to call Montgomery County home. Now it's up to the county council to turn the attainable housing plan into a bill. Council President Andrew Friedson is a supporter. And we need more housing options for more people in our county. Uh, it's a way that we can be more economically competitive. It's a way that we can address some of our environmental sustainability goals. But not everyone likes the idea. Homeowners in single-family communities have complained about an unwanted change to their neighborhoods. And County Executive Mark Elrich is firmly opposed. It's really the service to the community. If we go down this road and we wind up having to deal with the stormwater problems, we have to wind up dealing with traffic problems. Elrich also doesn't believe the result will be more attainable or affordable housing. And he's using this Chevy Chase project as an example. The house was sold for $1.6 million. They're building three units on it. The units are $3.2 million. Then nobody's going to build affordable housing. Now the public gets a chance to weigh in with six council listening sessions starting tonight in Silver Spring. Friedson says the process will be deliberate, but he also says the plan is a priority for him. The problem it seeks to address, one of the reasons he ran for office. A person who grew up here with the exact same job and career as their parents or parent couldn't afford the same house that their parent or parents raise them in with the same job or career. Yeah, so a listening session tonight, and as we say, there will be five more um, in the re during September and one in October that will be virtual. You can go to our website, WJLA.com. You'll find a link with all that information, plus a link to this plan so you can read through it yourself. In Silver Spring, Brad Bell, 7 News.